What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome back to the MMA Plug presented to you by the Talk of Colorado on 98.1 FM Mile High Sports Radio. Bonus points for anybody out there who can tweet to us and let us know what that song is out there. Real ones will know. Real ones will know. Real ones will know. We are going to get into the UFC 274 betting preview here. Josh, this weekend, it is really and truly, it's one of the most star-studded cards that we've had in quite some time. Now, some of these fighters on this card may be a little bit past their prime, and I think that that's certainly fair to say with a couple of the legends that are on this main card for sure. I'll allow it. But at the same time, you know, hey, I'm not going to deny them the ability to go out there and try to, you know, end things on a high note. Yeah, I mean, this card comes with all of it. It comes with people who are in their prime, and we're seeing one of the most violent possible fights here coming up. We have people who are past their prime, who are just looking for legends to have a ride off into the sunset. We have up-and-comers. We have debuters. This is a full-on card. It's, it's awesome to see. But do you want to know one bet I'm putting in this week? What's that? I'm going to have a good time watching these fights for sure. <laughs> Dude. Where are you going to be watching these fights at, Josh? I'm going to be watching these fights at the bar th- at Plaza 38. Are you guys going to be there with me? Probably. I'd say you, you better be. It's going to be fun. I'm telling you. But especially with the main event right now, we have Charles Oliveira versus Justin the Highlight Gaethje. That is one of the most, I feel like, highly anticipated matchups that we've had in a little bit just because of the dualities of each of their threats you know you have somebody like justin gaethje who as you mentioned first team all violence arguably one of the most entertaining if not the most entertaining guy on the planet i I mean overall i think that we have the two most entertaining fighters in the entire ufc both on this card one's on the prelims one is on the main card yeah i completely agree with that but you have Justin Gaethje on the main card who, you know, just the the controlled chaos and the relentless violence that he brings to the cage is something that I think that, you know, you just, you have to marvel at. You have to marvel at what he's able to do. But then you have someone like Charles Dubronx Oliveira who has taken the long road to get to the title. You know, the the, he at one point road. was getting labeled as the quote unquote journeyman and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But all of those trials that he had to go through led him ultimately to have the skill set that he has today as the world champion, as the undisputed champion right now. In terms of routes to victory, I think that Charles has to figure out a way to close the distance on Justin. He can't let Justin stay out at range and be able to especially work in his leg kicking game. Yeah, and it's that's crazy you say that because we I think we've seen in his last couple fights with Oliveira, like his striking is what's doing him so much justice like opening up that ground game for him and the way that he clipped Chandler like we're gonna see a really good fight this weekend he has and I mean stylistically if we're talking the outright X's and O's of this matchup if you look at the way that Charles Oliveira's stance is when he's mm-hmm. striking and when he he's very light on his lead foot very light and he he's able to pick it up pretty fluently or pretty quickly so that leads me to believe that he because he's already doing that, and then you're then going to come in here and face a guy like Gaethje, who has some of the most brutally violent leg kicks in all of MMA history, mm-hmm. that's going to help him out. That he's already been primed throughout his entire striking approach to not be susceptible, as opposed to, say, someone who is a uh, elite foot heavy guy, like maybe some of your more traditional true boxers out there. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, that makes complete sense. Yeah. And the way that he's able to do that and kind of divert the possible leg kicks because it's not always going to be there. But when you're talking about attributes, there's a lot of attributes that you can't really know until you're actually in the fight. And one of that is uh, damage causing. Right. And that is Justin Gaethje's bread and butter is to go in there and hurt you and just cause as much damage as possible. Agreed. Dude, I saw a... uh, it was an interview. I, uh, who was it? Not Cowboy. I think Joe Lozon said it. Yeah, it was Joe Lozon said it. He was like, Justin Gaethje's the type of guy that will light himself on fire just to burn you. And yeah. that is the coolest thing that you can say about, obviously, 
only in the realm of fighting. I, I, he's not talking about that in a sense of like him as a human, as a, his character, but obviously in just fighting, like he is willing to go to the depths of hell to hurt you. And yeah. that is why he's the highlight. That's why he's been in the UFC. Was he had seven or nine fights and like seven fights, nine bonuses or nine fights. He has 10 more bonuses. bonuses than fights. More bonuses than fights. That's because you're exciting and people want to watch you fight. It's just, Oh, guys, I'm wearing a jacket, but I got chills because I am so pumped to watch these fights this weekend. And Charles can get touched. And Charles can get clipped a little bit. And that's where we're going to see his ability to roll and scramble and defend. Oh, man. Who? Uh, that being said, <laughs> big spender, put your money where your mouth is. What's your pick Dude, on? We're going big this weekend, I'm telling you. And I honestly, I can't go against Justin Gaethje. I can't. He's sitting here at a plus 165. You can't go against someone who has had the opportunity. He fell short with Khabib. Hey, we're not talking about Khabib right now. Yes, this is another different stylistic of an animal, but I just don't believe in my heart that Justin Gaethje is going to get a second opportunity and not come through. I agree. I mean, I... In his home state? In his home state, Curtsy. That's true. That's true. You know, I, I'm i bearish on, on the pick, but I do believe that for my money, the safer bet or the better chance for a return is going to be on a finish. I'm not betting... You know, no, no like money. Uh, I'm, not, I'm right. not taking either either person individually. I'm going with finish. All right. I 100% agree with that. Like, yeah. All right. You put me on the spot with who I'm picking. Let's get the emotions out of the way here. <laughs> All Facts, no feelings. If we're talking strictly, you you came in with the head full oh, of steam, sorry, my man. Dude, you said, I, "Hey, this is what I'm putting my money this on. This is what spender. I'm betting for." We have Mister <laughs> Big Spender over here. No, I I 100 percent agree. This this fight is definitely going to end by a finish. I don't see. There's no, and I know we've said this before with multiple fights on end, like with scary knockout guys. But this isn't just scary knockout guys. Like these guys also have the ability to choke you out. Right. submit you in many possible different ways so i definitely a safe bet would be betting on the finish yeah and i think that one thing that also has to be brought into play is you know just like you said like that devastating type of power just engage these intense frequency and consistency of the intensity mm -hmm. of those strikes is something that i just think is marvelous it's something that nobody else really can do in that way from from the kicks to being up top, you know, with the strikes, you know, like to, to be able to throw almost the entire time at 80, 85% plus, like that's crazy. And to keep the pace with it, like it's just absolutely insane. It is insane. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. That helps us continue to produce this original MMA content and bring it for you every single week. Tune in to the MMA plug presented by DenverSportsBetting.com on 98.1 FM, Mile High Sports Radio on Wednesday nights from 6 to 7 p.m. Or live stream at DenverSportsBetting.com slash radio.